Okay, well, there's the foundation. They uh, spent two days backfilling it. Well, you know, they, they went and dug up a bunch of dirt. I'll show you where it came from in a little while. I just want to walk you around the outside of the foundation. They filled the, they had a big trench all the way around it, of course. Put it, built it in a big hole they dug. And of course you can see how tall it is on the inside down into the hole. And when they backfilled it, that's all that's sticking up above the ground. And when they put the house on top, that's all the foundation you'll see. Of course, uh, come around here. And you see that they left this open, didn't backfill this part right here, just partially backfilled this side, because that's going to be the uh, the entrance to the crawl space underneath the house, where you can work on your plumbing and what have you. Anyhow, they got they got a pretty good pretty good uh, slope on it right here. That's going to be the front of the house. Of course, there's a road. And um, I'm going to show you exactly where they got all this dirt from. Oh, it was a lot of dirt. They had about, oh, I'd say five, six, seven, maybe eight big, big dump truckloads of dirt that they that they dug up. There's my well. I. I got it insulated and wrapped some canvas around it for the winter time. Oh, got some heater wire on the on it too. Anyhow, I, I'm ready for this freeze. It's gonna get cold here in the winter time. It's already starting. A couple of days I got up and mornings I got up and went outside and the, the water dish for the cats was frozen over. Not too bad though. But the old mama cat was sitting there staring at it the first time. <laughs> like she didn't know what to do. Anyhow, I, I busted it open for her. They took all that dirt off of this portion of the road. County road, but it's not maintained. The county does, owns the road, but they don't maintain it. And he, he just, he said, the guy who was running the tractor he said i'm going to take all this dirt from this hill right here well that hill was the portion of the road that most everybody drove on because it wasn't uh, as bad as you can see how far that sunken road goes back there from here it goes back about three quarter miles where it starts getting uh getting solid you know one one lane <laughs> it looks like two lanes but it's actually this must have been the original but when it got sunken after all those years he used people started driving up on on that part and made a new road well this road does nothing but collect dust during the dust storms and that dust is pretty thick and it's kind of difficult to drive through <laughs> not to mention it's sunken but because it is sunken it accumulates the dust here. And yeah, like I say, it's pretty thick. I put it in four wheel drive and I go like a bat out of hell, excuse my language, <laughs> through there because I, I get a kick out of it. Anyhow, I guess I'm still a little bit of teenager deep down inside. But anyhow, he took all that dirt out of here. And of course, he, uh, he actually made this wider. So it is actually better to drive on, but it he uh, had a water truck putting water all over it. Yeah, you can see that was a, a lot, of, a lot of dirt he took out of there, <laughs> and you can see where the road stops. Well, a couple of nights ago it only stopped right there, and he had a big pile of dirt on it. And uh, some guy, after dark, he came down here, looked to be like uh, 
3500 truck, you know, like a maybe a Ford F350 or or a 3500 Ram or or equivalent. I don't know what model it was cuz it was dark all I could see was lights. But he came up here, stopped, backed all the way back down there and then drove this way. And uh anyhow, I uh I don't know if you can see it from here. I should have stopped earlier and showed them to you. I put those cones, those are my cones. I put them there this morning because I can see he just left this little berm of uh, dirt clods here. And uh, at nighttime, some guy might come along and just drive right down here. Uh, well, if he had the right truck, it wouldn't hurt it. But most, some people come down here in little tiny compacts little tiny jelly bean cars anyhow I thought that was uh, possibly a little bit dangerous so that's why I put those those cones up there and uh, you know what if I had my own tractor I'd smooth that out so people could drive on it because the delivery drivers they like to come down and they turn around in that field right there because they don't want to go all the way down that way. It's about a... Gee, I didn't measure it. But I know it's... It's two miles that way to paved road. And there's... At the end of this, it's not as long. Probably only about a mile. You, you come to Herschel Road, which is paved. But they were telling me they don't think they should bring... The house in that way, that's that's west. But because uh, after about a three-quarter miles here, the road looks smooth, but it's really washboard gravel road. And they said the washboard would shake the house to pieces. So they want to come with a tractor and dig some, some of that dirt road that way out. And there's some, there's some hills on that road. And it's county road, but the county don't maintain it. And I told the boss of the construction company when he talk, told me that he wanted to dig out some of them hills down there so they could come bring it in this way. I said, well, do you need a permit from the county? He said, oh, the county don't care. Well, obviously they don't care enough to keep it maintained, so... I guess I wouldn't care if somebody flattened out a few hills on it. Anyhow, there's uh, that, that fence right there is my property line. This fence around my house is just people around here like to put fences around their living quarters because it's an open range state, which means that cattle are allowed to roam anywhere they feel like it. And, uh, and I guess that's about it. Like I say, it's a quarter, th three quarter mile that way to the gravel road that's full of washboard. Looks smooth, but when you drive on it, it sh shakes your vehicle up pretty good. I drive 30 mile an hour and I kind of seem to fly over the washboard. But I, I don't like going that way. I only go that way to get the mail. Mailboxes are down there. I go that way. I got to put it in four-wheel drive in some of the spots to get through the dust. But I'd rather go that way because it don't shake. Anyhow, I guess that's about it. All I wanted to show you.